Thank you, Alan. And, and uh, I really uh, do want to um, appreciate our speakers. I really appreciate uh, how clear, concise, and within the time frame each presentation was. It's really a very good job. Not surprising. I would have expected uh, uh, this from uh, a group of people who are passionate and uh, really trying to help the committee um, sort through the information. So I want to thank our Region 1 um, uh, participants, and we'll now turn to Region 2. And I would like to introduce a uh, moderator for that session, who's Dr. Laurel Shader. She's a senior scientist in environmental chemistry and engineering at the Silent Spring Institute. Her research focuses on characterizing PFAS exposures from drinking water, diet, and consumer products, understanding health effects associated with PFAS, investigating socioeconomic disparities in exposures to drinking water contaminants, and working with communities to develop research studies and resources to address their concerns. Dr. Shader is the principal investigator for the PFAS REACH study. She also leads the Massachusetts PFAS and Your Health Study, one of seven projects within ATSDR's PFAS multi-site health study. In addition, she co-leads the Community Engagement Corps for the University of Rhode Island STEEP Superfund Research Program. Before joining Silent Spring Institute, she was a research associate at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, where she is currently a visiting scientist. Dr. Shader earned her master's and PhD in environmental engineering at the University of California, Berkeley, and a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering sciences from MIT. And I'd like to turn this over to you, Laurel. Thank you, Ned, for your introduction. Thank you to the National Academies for planning today's discussion, and especially thank you to the residents of impacted communities for sharing your stories today. This session will include two presentations from community members in Region 2, followed by a panel discussion. 